Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart and Hillside with me Banto. So, we're building this new house here, it's a pretty basic house where we can have some people to live at. And if we want to, we could already start to, you know, decorate with some beds and so on. But uh, I'm just gonna avoid that to avoid some potential problems that may occur if we do that. So, we still have some things to do with this house, our tavern here, so I wanna have more chairs, I wanna have more tables at this place. So we should place some of them, maybe we could actually have benches up here. So maybe we have like tables at this balcony, and above here we maybe have like, instead of like benches to sit here, because it's pretty narrow here compared to what we got down here below. So let's put some benches here. Oh, we can have one of these fine park benches. I almost never use them actually, I don't know why, I just, I just never get a place where I feel like it works good together. So that should be pretty good. I think it would be too small area for having tables at, so I think this is what we're gonna go for. But we don't really have anything above here, and I wonder if we should have something for serving. I think we maybe I should have outside here, and maybe inside some house, like some chairs and tables here. Where is there and um, was this the bench? That <laughs> I think that's the bench that I tried to place here first before this fine one and went right through the floor. Because you know, that looks just so stupid to have a bench almost in front of the door, so. But I'm thinking about it, maybe we should have some beds here. I know that you guys talked uh, long ago about uh, we can have, so before they get their own houses, they can actually have their own beds or actually have some kind of bed where they can sleep before they get their own, so. We have the door this side, as see, do not really match in perfectly. We had some problems there, if I remember it correctly. But you know, we can have some beds here. I think we're gonna turn them around here. And, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to move the bed where one person is sleeping. And I'm also gonna add a name here. So we got a new Heartland to join us last time, Rose Elliot we got here. So I'm gonna rename Rose to, uh, let's see who we got here, we're gonna get, rename this to Kara Brown, by request from Stace Leet, and there we go, Kara Brown, welcome to Hillside. So if you have name suggestions both for male and female, just drop them in the comments and I'm gonna try to add them as soon as I can, it's still a huge queue for male names. The majority of them are male names, so, but feel free to drop some female names, I mean, it doesn't have to be like you. If you're a guy, you can still request a female name forever. I don't know, for a girlfriend or some name that you think are pretty cool. I don't know. Invader cited, okay, so we should bring over Luna Girl. If she isn't sleeping or if she isn't at the farm eating, maybe she is sleeping. Yeah, she's going to bed. Luna Girl, I think we talked about this. What are you doing here? You should be able to go and. Yeah, she actually got up. She listened to me and now she's going back to bed. <laughs> Let's try to see if I can get her before she goes away. Hopefully this is gonna work. She's standing by the bed. I mean, we would probably be safe without a footman for defending against them. Maybe it has to do something with the, these stairs that's kind of like screwing it up for a bit. Not sure what she's doing exactly now. Now she moves away when I moved it away. Can I move her here? It actually do look... Yeah, she moved. Awesome. I think she's actually, yeah, she's going to get the zombies and the skeleton. Go beat them, go beat them all. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, she's doing a great job. We probably, by the way, should get more footmen. So we only have one for the moment. Even though she's pretty awesome and she's kicking the skeleton's ass here, we really need to get more footmen because eventually we can get these wolves and so on, and they are really dangerous. I had a, actually, when I played this before off screen, I actually lost about. Half a town because having too few footmen. I thought I had enough. I had like, I think I had about four of them, and still had the stone walls and so on. But they didn't really have any upgraded uh, defense, so they had no like uh, full armor or whatever. So we definitely need to get a blacksmith eventually for this. Not sure who's gonna be of these persons. I know that there have been some requests for blacksmith. We will see what we do because I want to go for what stats you know works for them as well. A trader approach. Seven wooden doors and we get two curtains. I think I'm gonna skip that because I, I really don't want to make seven doors, that's seven wood and we don't really have much wood lying around for the moment, so we definitely need to gather some more wood. And actually thinking about if we should start to do something here with this lake soon. 
With Lakeside, the town that we did before this, it was really exciting and new to try it out and it was really fun to try it out, so... Something I wanna do again. Eventually we're gonna make a new town by the lake or ocean or whatever it's gonna be in the future. What do we got here? Tin ingot? We got some ingot steel? I guess some uh, zombie or goblin or whatever dropped it down there. So this house is gonna be... People live here, people live here, farm, tavern... And we definitely need to get more places where people are gonna live at. But I also feel like maybe we should start to get some house where we have like... Professions working at. And I'm not really sure which road is the correct one. It is always so tricky because I'm pretty sure I choose one of these. We're just gonna go for these and hopefully it's gonna be the correct one. You see it does not look the same once it's out like that. It might not even be the same, who knows, we're gonna find out, I guess. Saku, le oh, level 6 carpenter. Wow. Yeah, the carpenter is definitely the profession that levels up the fastest in this game, that's for sure. But the carpenter is also doing a huge job for the town. Everybody's working together, but the carpenter is really, like, busy all the time, at least in my town, it's busy all the time. And last episode we actually checked out some with this food that I cook can do with this cafe mod that I got installed, it's in the description if you got Stoneheart you want to try it out yourself. You basically download it and it should be a folder named mod something like that and you put it in there. So if you want to try that out yourself go and check it out. So we made this bear use, we got some other ones, we got the bear pie, we need the flour for this, or floor, whatever you call it. A pumpkin pie, we need that for that as well. In Swedish that would be mjöl. Mjöl. Wheat, vete, and... Uh, meat pies. We, we need to get this higher, this thing here. And how do we get that? It would be from wheat. That, yeah, we actually have it here, I'm stupid. Here we go, floor. We need to have two wheat for making that. So I mean, let's try to maintain some of these. Let's try to maintain... Let's always try to have four of these. Hopefully that will be good. That, that would be the first thing. So I think our cook is going to be very busy with cooking with that. No, we don't beat it. We still don't miss a little bit of net worth. Hopefully we're going to beat it the next day. Oh, <laughs> they dropped someone off here. Rely? No, we got to save you. You can't be up there. We got to save you from there. Okay, she's maybe saving herself. At least halfway. Yeah, she should be safe now. What is he doing? Saku, what are you doing here? I guess he has one of the sunbath a little bit on the roof. Oh, we found some... <laughs> I didn't even see that wood. It looked like it was like inside of that thing or something. Says lead, level 2 cook. Awesome. The cook is now skillful enough to dot dot dot. Hmm. Probably not implanted yet. Let's see here. This road was too dark. So my guess is that this is the road that we're supposed to do. But you know, roads in reality, as long as they're not clean all the time, roads don't look the same everywhere. That's a um, thing that's probably a big mistake when they make a lot of games. They make the road look perfect, it doesn't look like it's dirt or anything, so... Just protecting my failed road. <laughs> okay, let's see here, we got some trader or whatever they're called, merchants, who want to sell some stuff, got some meat and things, and... Um, yeah, let's let's sell all these pellets that we got here. Oh, we need to get we need to get a weaver soon. We need to get the blacksmith. We need to get a shepherd. There are many things we need to get that I want to do, which I haven't done for. It feels like ages ago since I did some of those. So we should get some beds. That actually goes in pretty good. Maybe we should have it closer. Maybe we should have to, yeah. Let's go for the middle. That looks pretty good. And we should be able to fit in. I guess two more beds, but it depends on how crowded we want it to be. Because, you know, we can put in some extra... I mean, we can have some benches, one bench here, and... Um, can decorate a little bit more. Some flour. We can add some under here as well. I think they look, they, these looks really, really good. Something I really would look forward to having in this game was, was to have a lot of... I guess you would call them like critter or whatever. I would like to have a lot of like, you know, birds flying around and so on. It would just make the game look so much more amazing. So, uh, we should actually expand this farm pretty soon as well. 
Not sure if we have two farmers, so I think we only have like one of them. Yeah, Bran is doing the farming for the moment. Eventually we're gonna need one more and you know, we're gonna have a huge farm here in the future. But for the moment, uh, the net worth is a high priority for the moment, so... Maybe we should build something here by the lake. So thinking about making something kind of similar to what uh, we did at the previous town. So let's make a house, it should be at least decently big. Let's go for, I guess it's a little bit brighter floor. And this is gonna be a pretty huge house as well. I'm gonna make this a little bit different now when I come think about it. So I'm actually gonna make it so it goes here, and then it's actually gonna go out in the water. Or maybe we should move this, we might have like more than one house here. So let's go and have it at uh, like this corner here. So we can have, I guess, some like a wooden deck, whatever you want to call it. Maybe this whole building should be on the water. Let's have this building on the water, just to make it look different. So I think we're gonna make the base of this first, so we can have it on something. So that would be what it would be on, and we're gonna have some pillars that are going up, the columns here. I think this should be the correct place. There we go, pretty good. And let's add some more just to make it look better. I think we're gonna add some in between as well. Whoops, 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 whoops. There we go. And we can add some more. I think we should have like one in between. And I see it do not match perfectly, but uh, we're gonna go for this anyway. So that's pretty nice, and we should make a house here. No, the thing is that this house is not gonna be a huge one actually. I'm gonna make it here, so it's actually gonna have like a deck or bridge or whatever you call it. And it's gonna go on that one. Oh, I actually remember, I have one idea for a house that we're gonna make later on. Not in this video, it's gonna be a future one, but I just remembered one idea. I kinda get some ideas, you know, when I'm going around, travel around a little bit, even though I don't really travel much. I kind of pick up of these of things I see once I travel and so on, and it's really really fun. It's a good like inspiration to get from that. So let's see what our people are doing. We're gonna speed up the game a little bit, so they're gonna have to build this whole thing here before we start with the other one, and hopefully we're gonna be able to place the floor on top of this, and hopefully that is going to work. I don't think they're gonna do the, do the columns now though, because if you saw that when I selected this, it looked like it was. Basically this thing and not the columns. So we're gonna make the columns after we're done with these. And we're actually gonna put on ladders so we don't drown people. This is not the sims, you don't earn cash in doing it. Okay, so we got one swimming down, Rely is going down. And she made another ladder. Yeah, she's doing some scaffolding. I don't, I don't know why she's doing it, but... Uh, she's doing it. Maybe it is for these columns, I don't know. Because I mean, they're basically done with this part. Let's see what they're gonna do now. It seems like they get a little bit confused. Okay, they're actually removing it. It seems that they get a little bit confused when they go into the water. They swim around pretty strange. We gotta click every one of these ladders here. Well, not ladders. We need to click one all these columns here. So those those should go pretty quick to make. So I'm actually gonna go through the people who got here for a moment. I'm gonna find someone who's suited to be a warrior. So Christian, he actually got pretty good body. Not that high in spirit. Nissa is pretty good. I think Nissa is gonna be our second footman. So we'll see. There we go. Promotion footman. Yeah, so that will be our second guardian here. And we may maybe should rename this party here. So, where, yeah, it should be here. Guardians of Hillside. So now they got the good name that suits them. So, okay, they, they aren't done with this for the moment fully yet, but I guess we could, you know, at least start to continue with designing this thing here. So this is gonna stick up a little bit. I hope it's gonna still look good, but I guess we're gonna find out. And I'm going for a lot brighter one than... Uh, what we have underneath, just to make it, you know, stick out. It's gonna be a wall here, later on anyway, but... Uh, just to make it stick out. 
We could actually, no, we're gonna skip that. Let's see how it looks if we would put a wall. So we need to make it uh, go out at one side more or in at the other one. Oh, we got some more zombies and skeletons here. I think Nissa should also have one of those weapons. Let's see if they're coming here. Yeah. They taken the ladder instead, we should remove that one. I want to use our stairs instead. Yeah, I think they should be pretty fine with that. The thing that seems to be a lot of problems is if there are many many enemies and you have few footmen, they keep hitting different targets and that makes you not kill them. And that's really really bad, so it would be good if they had like lock targets, something like that. That would be really really good because sometimes, like I had a wolves one time, it became a big problem. Very often the wolves don't work like they should, but the ones that do, they are freaking dangerous. They are so hard to kill. So for some reason they ain't putting thing up on top of here. It might be working once we like reload the game, whatever. Guess we're just gonna find out. At least they're fixing our columns down here. So we're gonna continue with this thing that we're making here and... Uh, I'm gonna make it... I think we're gonna make it actually go in. Because I wanna have the deck a little bit wider. We're gonna go for... Let's go for white walls for this, just to make it stick out from the deck a little bit more. So that should be pretty good, we should have some door for this as well. I think we have one here. This almost looks like it would be some kind of fisher's house over here. Trader approaches the town, let's see what they got here. Nine mean bells, no, I don't want to do all those. And by the way, this week on uh, tomorrow, Friday, probably not gonna be an episode. There might be one if I really like get into it, but we'll see. Because tomorrow is a Swedish midsummer, which we go to my summer house and we go there, it's by a lake and we just go there eat some nice food and barbecue and whatever and have a good time and uh, probably gonna go to pretty early so sorry that it might not be an episode on Friday so we will see what happens I might make one like I said sometimes I just get like we are just gonna make one and make it done so you guys can have something to watch and have a lot about a lot of fun and build in this game so how should we do this should we make this go up directly see how it looks with a roof Hmm. I think it looks decent, but I'm not entirely sure if I like it. Let's try it to see how it looks on the other direction. We're gonna go for a wooden one for this. Maybe that looks better. Yeah, let's go for that. And you know, we can have more houses along this little lake that we got here. It's not as big as... Oh, we got a goblin camp here. Chieftain Anji, you dumb bok, me, big glittering chieftain, not sure all the means you give me stuff and I do know these throw I you. Me want supplies, you understand? He want one gold ingot. That's worth 60 gold and he's not gonna get that. There we go. But guys, this is actually gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There might be an episode tomorrow like I said, but most likely there's not gonna be any. But I will be back again after the weekend again, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more active the next week. I know that this week hasn't been perfect with episodes. I have set for Monday, Wednesday and Fridays for episode, but I'm really really trying to push out one episode each day, except for the weekends. So we will see what happens, I really hope that I will be able to put out five new episodes next week. So guys, thank you for watching this episode, I hope you're all gonna have a great great weekend and stay safe and have a great great time. Take care everybody. Goodbye.